We have arrived on the final stage. So, let's begin. The first thing you'll notice as you come into this stage is you're totally screwed. <laughs> now what I mean by that is this position, they actually spawn right about here and you're here. Going up here, while you're jumping, you're extremely vulnerable. Um, it, it's very hard to actually approach enemies when they're up on this high ground. Um, so I essentially believe there's two options. You can, okay, maybe three, but one of them is throwing. And throwing, it's risky, doesn't work most of the time, but if you can pull off a throw once in a while, sure, go for it. But basically, you can stay here, do whatever you want, jump around, and just wait for them to come for you. Because once they leave their, their sanctuary of high ground, they're open. And you you have a much higher probability to actually be able to kill them. Second, you can do a, probably the scummiest thing in the game. You can come down here and just chill on the wall. Now, what this forces your opponent to do, um, you have to, your opponent will have to kill you because that, that's how you win the game. Eventually they're going to have to kill you sometime. So if you just chill down here, they'll have to come and get you. And what, what, okay, that's not how you do it, <laughs> but it's incredibly hard to actually kill someone in that position without dying yourself. Nigh impossible. But if you do, if you can do that, you're super cool. Whatever. Go for it. But the person who was previously sitting there, the only thing you lose is the, the bright sign that says go. And to be honest, that doesn't mean anything right here. Because... To get past here, you're going to have to kill your opponent anyways, uh, most likely, So to get past them. So that doesn't even matter. But what it does do for you, now you have the high ground. You are also moved halfway across the stage, essentially for free. And if you didn't have a sword previously, now, now you do have a sword at your disposal. So it's just in general a great like tactic. It's really annoying, but annoying things are usually really good. <laughs> so about this gap here, you can jump over it, that's pretty neat. You can stab across that gap, do not try and kick across that gap because it does not work. Um, on another note, if you remember on the third stage, if you jump on off of the corner of a platform, you go a bit further. If you jump like such here, you can span the entire gap in one jump. Most people, they just, it's too risky because if you do it too late, oh uh, yeah, you can't jump on air. So you, you end up dying 100% <laughs> of the time, but yeah, this, this is possible with the sword as well. So, yeah, that's a great way if you're you're bringing it back. And it it might seem small, but jumping from here to here, even if it takes a millisecond less, it could be the difference between um your opponent. Let's say if you were actually the pink person and they were here, it could be the difference between your opponent spawning here and your opponent spawning here. Um, if you do it quicker, they'll spawn further back. If you do it slow, they'll spawn closer to you. And if they're right here, you'd much rather have them over here, because again, it's a very advantageous position. Um, you have the high ground. It's a lot easier to get past. Um, I should mention in part 3.1, I talked about how you can get more than three jumps. That's also possible on this stage. So that would be normally 
if we're jumping from here, we get one, two, three. Okay, we die. No one's happy. But if you jump and kick, um, you're you actually hit the very edge of this wall just in time um, for the kick, as I talked about previously. Um, it will disappear and you're back in your normal state. So for it to work, you have to kick relatively quickly so the, that you can actually, okay, I, I suck. So don't even watch, just listen. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's a thing. Let's see. Oh yeah, final thing on this stage. Um, st sticking in this position, it's interesting. Similar to sticking here, it's hard for them to kill you without dying themselves, without a throw. But if they do throw, um, you can just slide down a bit, but not that much because you die. Um, it's not easy playing with two hands up, like to both sides at once. <laughs> um, but yeah, sticking right here. Uh, useful, uh, definitely, definitely useful. It's just a positional advantage that you can exploit. Um, you can also do a similar thing right here. This actually does nothing, because if you think about it, if you're here, you, you, you just want to go, go over there. Like, <laughs> and, okay, I could think of, like, one scenario where there's four swords, neither of you are going, they have a sword, you don't have a sword, so you come down here and then force them to get rid of their sword, and then you spawn with the sword. So that's the only thing I can think of, but other than that, going down there, not useful at all. And yeah, that, that's about it. And now you're a winner. So I'll see you in other upcoming videos. Bye.